Boundaries of touch. Touch is a special case of crossing boundaries, it is the crossing of a physical boundary. Actions considered by many as friendly, such as touching the shoulder, hugging, moving a hand across the back, cuddling or even simple proximity, for some may constitute a crossing of the boundary of comfort and safety. They are not normal and customary, everyday situations for them. In a tolerant, accepting, and even inviting such behavior environment, many violations can occur without the awareness of those violating and those experiencing violations. The social norm of accepting such behavior can be so strong that we overlook our discomfort, and in the long term, we learn to suppress and ignore it, which does not mean it ceases to exist. Therefore, it is worth knowing your true acceptance boundary of touch. This exercise serves to examine and learn this special process in life, which is accepting the touch of another person. Its aim is to answer the question of how much touch I can accept and from whom, what kind of touch I want to accept and when the touch is already too much, where is my boundary? The exercise provides information on this subject through body signals, which people often neglect in everyday life. Reading these signals may require greater focus and care about the possibility of their detection by the mind. First variant, in subgroups of three to six people. The exercise involves leaning hands. The work proceeds at a slow pace, with great focus. The participant stands as they see fit, for example, inside the circle, facing the people who will touch them, or with their back to them. The remaining participants stand at arm's length from the volunteer. Slowly, not all at once, at one time, they raise their arms towards the volunteer and touch his body with their hands, arms, back, neck, head, hands, palms, hips. They stop if the volunteer signals crossing the boundaries of touch. The group continues the exercise until the optimal touch for the volunteer is achieved. The volunteer has the right to hesitate, seek, check, invite some people to touch, and reduce the consent to touch others. They can refrain from touching someone completely. The task of the facilitator is to monitor, correct the touch of those touching, and also to strengthen the volunteer in observing and declaring their boundaries. Second variant, in subgroups of four people. The work also proceeds at a slow pace, with great focus. The participant stands as they see fit, for example, inside the circle, facing the people who will touch them, or with their back to them. The remaining participants of the subgroup take turns leaning their bodies, back, shoulders, chest, against the body of the volunteer. In this variant, they exert much more pressure on the volunteer than in the previous one. They can lean with different parts of the body, they can test strength load, but they stop if the volunteer signals crossing the boundaries of touch. The group continues the exercise until the optimal touch for the volunteer is achieved. The volunteer has the right to hesitate, seek, check, invite some people to touch, and reduce the consent to touch others. They can refrain from touching someone completely. The task of the facilitator is to monitor, correct the touch of those touching, and also to strengthen the volunteer in observing and declaring their boundaries. Variant 3 in subgroups of 3 to 8 people. We maintain a calm work pace, focusing. The volunteer lies as they see fit, for example, on their stomach, back, side, or inside the circle. The remaining participants press on the volunteer with their hands. Initially, they simply place their palms on the volunteer's body, and then gradually increase the pressure until they lean on them. All participants should immediately cease touch if the volunteer signals a crossing of boundaries. The group's goal is to continue the exercise until the optimal touch for the volunteer is achieved. The volunteer has the right to hesitate, seek, check. They can invite some people to touch, and expect others to limit touch. They also have the right to refuse touch from a particular person. The task of the facilitator is to monitor, correct the touch of those touching, and to strengthen the volunteer in observing and declaring their boundaries. The person receiving the load should focus on observing their own reactions, primarily feelings of low-intensity anxiety, discomfort, fear, disgust, dislike, pain, the desire to flee, repel, push people away. If the person receiving the load perceives any of these feelings, they should immediately inform about it, even if they are unable to clearly identify and name the feelings experienced. 
The person being touched may also perform movements of varying intensity, which can inform others about the difficulties experienced and allow them to adjust the touch. Those touching should remain in a state of heightened vigilance for signals coming from the person being touched and respond to them in a way that does not evoke a sense of crossing boundaries through excessive touch. Now I'll explain to you how to handle someone violating your physical boundaries, and I'll provide practical examples. The first step is understanding that your boundaries have been crossed. If someone is touching you and you don't like it, that's a violation of your boundaries. This can be difficult, especially if the touch is socially accepted, like a pat on the shoulder or a hug in greeting. However, it's important to listen to your feelings and respond when you feel uncomfortable. Next, you need to decide how you want to respond. You might decide that you want to talk to this person privately to avoid unnecessary tension or conflict. You might also decide that you want to address it on the spot if you feel that's appropriate. It's important to respond in a way that's most comfortable for you. When you're ready, tell this person that their touch is uncomfortable for you. Be clear, assertive, and respectful. You might say something like, I've noticed that you have a habit of touching me when we talk. I understand this might be natural for you, but it's uncomfortable for me. Could you please not do it? Remember that you have the right to your body and personal space. If this person continues to disrespect your boundaries, you may need to take additional steps. This might include avoiding physical contact with this person, reporting the situation to the appropriate people, or even limiting contact with this person, if that's possible and you feel it's necessary. Example Scenarios Scenario 1, at work, your co-worker has a habit of patting you on the shoulder when he talks to you. You feel uncomfortable with this. You might say, I've noticed that you have a habit of patting me on the shoulder when we talk. I understand this might be natural for you, but it's uncomfortable for me. Could you please not do it? If your co-worker continues to disregard your request, you can say, we've already talked about this. I asked you to stop patting me on the shoulder. Could you please respect my request? Scenario 2, at a social gathering, your friend has a habit of hugging you when greeting, but you don't like it. You can say, I know you're someone who likes to hug when greeting, but I don't feel comfortable with this. Could we greet each other without hugging? If your friend continues to disregard your request, you could say, we've already talked about this. I asked you to stop hugging me when greeting. Could you please respect my request? Scenario 3, within the family, your cousin has a habit of touching you when they joke around. You feel uncomfortable with this. You can say, I've noticed that when you joke around, you often touch me. I find this uncomfortable. Could you stop doing that? If your cousin continues to disregard this, you can say, we've already talked about this. I asked you to stop touching me when you joke around. Could you please respect my request? Remember, you have a right to your own body and personal space. If someone infringes upon your boundaries, you have the right to express this and expect that these boundaries will be respected.